I am just got the impulse to just post right quick about a band that I haven't talked too much about that actually I really love. And I'm just going to show a part of my collection, um, the singles mainly, but also a couple of, um, they're beat, but three inch CDs. It's XTC. I really like that band a lot. And um, I remember when I first heard about them uh, in the press, just um, again, they were hyped, but the words, you know, just made it sound real interesting. Like it was, you know, like it would have like the right ingredients regarding good pop and energy. And it really did uh, to my taste. I, I just love XTC. And right now I'm listening to a three inch CD um, of Senses Working Overtime. And um, these unfortunately got slimed by my cats that I used to have. They just pissed all over a bunch of my crates. Um, just one time I left them alone too long. I was I shouldn't have they showed me but I also have Mayor of Simpleton on 3 inch CD Interesting it's uh in a mini um I forget what you call this version but yeah you open it up and then the disc comes out like that My um 7 inches got um several of them got a bit damaged by the cats too but again i'm keeping them i can they all play and um some of them are just again a little hard to come across like for this one i bought drum, drums and wires when it came out and then i sold it but i kept the extra si single that came with it chain of command yeah with limelight on the b-side managed to keep that Here's a really cool single. I've shown this before. Life Begins at the Hop, B-Side Homo Safari. And this interesting, cool, um, here's a kind of a nice package. Um, it's got the bag and, you know, it looks like it's playing the record and you pull the, you pull it out as you see, and that's on the plastic. So that's, that's cool. And, um, you know, it's a fold out. Also a custom black uh, label for it, and it's uh, clear vinyl. That's a cool uh, XTC item. Goes along with my thread. Wonderland, back with Jump. XTC is another band who have consistently made really interesting B-sides, which is like partly why I got hooked on collecting their singles early on statue of liberty hang on to the night now this one is uh old oh i have well actually i've got another one that's got the old virgin label that's what i'm referring to this one has a nice um love in a farm boy's way just looks like a wallet especially when you Fold it out. Double, uh, double single. Yeah, and you uh, pull the records out of the top, <laughs> like like a wallet. <laughs> Here's a, um, a Japanese um, single I have for <clears throat> making plans for Nigel. Actually, it's just the uh, no sleeve, and then here's the record. Nice. Yeah, here I think this is the one I was talking about. Again, you see the damage, the cat damage. Are you receiving me? And that's uh, just the reality of the record. I love the B side of this one, Instant Tunes. Are you receiving me? Backed with Instant Tunes. Great band. I um, also, before I forget to mention, had the great fortune of seeing them live before they stopped playing live on the Black Sea Tour. 
They were incredible. I've got a recording of the show that I saw a friend recorded it. This is uh, one of the early singles. This is Pop, backed with Heat Wave, the original um, four-man lineup with uh, Barry Andrews on uh, organ. And this is the one, yeah, with the uh, old Virgin label. I'll just keep going here. Let's do this right quick. I have um, practice for Rick Agnew tonight. I'm excited about that. Playing DI songs and adolescent songs with the skies. Kind of, you know, he's a kind of a living legend of punk. Ball and Chain. Punch and Judy on the B side. Plus another song, and I, I like the custom label for this quite a bit. That's a nice design and color. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, my, my camera is um, bottom of the rung, so no autofocus or not much anyway. Here's another one with a very cool cover. Respectable Street. XTC. Strange Tales, yeah. This is a B-side, another cool and interesting XTC um, record. Okay, this next one has an interesting package. This is um, Towers of London. Okay, it's a double single. And uh, again, this is another one where you pull it out of the bag and the bag is part of the design. You get uh, two singles. And uh, yeah, once again, just cool B-sides, BBC sessions, Scissorman. The wonderful XTC. Here's an Australian pressing of um, Are You Receiving Me and Making Plans for Nigel. Well, I have it because the B-side is, um, I think these are live. This is an Australian pressing of Making Plans for Nigel. I'm pretty sure the B-sides are live and unique to the single. Just go in here. Ten feet tall. Great song. Great song. Well, yeah. Well, that's the B-side, actually, isn't it? Yeah, wait till your book <laughs> comes goes down as the A-side for it. Excuse me, I like 10 feet tall better, actually. Excuse me. Love XTC, I really do. I'll show the album some other time in CDs. Sergeant Rock is going to help me. Yeah, I bought all these when they came out. 1980. There's another one. This is kind of cool. I'm going to just you know, give it... Nice. Custom uh, label. Making plans for Nigel. This was the uh, UK edition of it. With uh, it's cool stuff. You know, once again another variation on the label, specifically for this single. Another entry into the interesting packaging. Nothing super, super, but it's nice. Die cut. No thugs in our house. And it opens up like so. And uh, there's also, that's a, that's a little window right there. So uh, when you pull out the card, yeah. So you can... Um, have some variations on what you show, and the, the label is very nice too. That side, and XTC, excellent man, excellent man. And I have the uh, seven-inch version of what has been playing, which again has a neat 
design. Since it's working over time. And it's like the on the see no evil, hear no evil, I think, thing. So you have that flap which opens up that way. And you have them that open up on this. Oops, I don't want it to fall out. They open up like that. Isn't that beautiful? And then it opens up even again, like that. Leave it, leave it to XTC, and then finally, oh my, geez, I haven't folded this out in a while. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Nice. Folds all the way out like so. So yeah, that's 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 a neat that's a neat design. Yeah, that's a pretty cool design. Yeah. Cool. Once again, that's the uh, joy of um, record collecting because you do, I do, forget what I have. I mean, or even, you know, you have it, but you forget. You forget it, you know, because it's you can't listen to everything. And that's not the point that, you know, um, just thought I'd say this. It came to me. The way that my room is set up here with my camera and stuff and my records, it's not, I didn't set it up like this for the videos. I've, this is how my room is set up and this is where my computer is and when I bought the camera, finally for the computer, <laughs> this is the view. So this isn't done for, to show off my records, this is how I live this, and this is why I spend time right here. So um, I don't know, it's something for some reason I just felt like I need, I wanted to to just mention that you know I, it's not like look at all of, you know I love having these records this is for me this is not to show off to you guys you know this is I got all these records because I want all these records you know I thought they need to say that last uh, seven inch I have is um, generals and majors another devil double Just wanted to share the XTC, you know, I wasn't really that profoundly uh, uh, eloquent, like I try to be <laughs> sometimes. Um, just happened to have it here. This is the um, boot CD of, um, I saw them in Lawrence, Kansas in uh, 1980. And they were, it's, you know, the concert's right here. It's an audience recording, so the fidelity is so-so, but the energy is right there. Good old XTC. Okay. 